Hey guys, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jado Automation Studio. So today we are going to learn about the how to do Selenium setup in the IntelliJ Idea Tool. Okay, so these terms we are going to learn. So for for doing the setup, for do the setup of the Selenium uh, in the IntelliJ Idea Tool. So first of all, we must need to. There are two ways for doing the setup. First way to download the dependencies, extract those dependencies, and you need to you have to import those dependencies in the in the IntelliJ IDEA. And second way we have uh, with the help of the Maven. So in the form.xml you can directly you can directly mention the dependencies. I will create separate video for the how to do Selenium setup with the help of the Maven. Okay. So uh, so here we are going to learn about the traditional traditional setup. Okay. So so before going to down before going to do that setup first of all you must need to we must need to understand the architecture like how exactly your selenium is working on so your selenium working on like this guys so first of all this selenium language binding so mainly five language selenium is supported like java c sharp python ruby javascript you need to write down the code in this languages and then once you once you write down this code in these languages and once you run your script the JSON wire protocol is happened and this JSON wire protocol, this HTTP request is heated to the browser driver. So, so we are not directly communicate with the real browser because of multiple browsers. They are hiding their implementation and if we wanted to do communication with, with the real browser, we need to communicate with their browser driver first and then and only then those requests will be heated to the real browser. So here you can see. The after the so once you run your script with the help of the JSON wire protocol, your re request is hit to the browser driver with the help of the HTTP over HTTP server. The request is happening on the real browser, and then the real browser will give us the, the response to the browser driver, and then same response will ha hand over to the uh, to the to your test script. So this is the basic Selenium web driver architecture we have. Now we we must need to download the uh, jar file of the selenium web driver so for that what exactly we need to do guys we we must need to we must need to do we must need to open this selenium uh, selenium uh, okay i must need to do open the selenium dot dev website okay selenium dot dev website this is an officially website of the selenium before two years we have the selenium dot hq website but now they change now the official website is selenium.dev okay so now you you have to download the files now for that what exactly we need to we need to click on this download options once we click on this download option we need to scroll down over here and here you can see selenium client and web driver language binding so here you can see your selenium is support for the five language like c sharp ruby java python javascript this five language supported by the selenium and selenium itself written in the cell in in the java language so here uh, if you wanted to download the dependency for the java selenium web driver you need to click over here once you click on uh, once you click on this stable version your uh, your automatically download is happening and your file is look like this guys okay your file is look like this this is your what you can say this is your uh, selenium hyphen java file now you you have to extract this file but before extracting please make sure that you are not extracting with the help of the windrar because of windrar miss some file while extracting so it is recommended to use the by default windows extractor and with the help of the 7zip you can extract this uh, extract this file once you extract this file you can see uh, this folder is generated extracted folder is generated and we need to we need to uh, we need to import this all file in the IntelliJ idea so these file and whatever file available inside the lib these file also we must need to we must need to import in the uh, IntelliJ idea lib okay now I am opening my IntelliJ idea tool now this is my Ganesh Jado automation studio this is my project uh, I, I told you how to install the IntelliJ IDEA in my previous session, how to create the project, uh, those things I already told you guys. Please review my old session if you don't, uh, if, if, you, if you are not aware how to install IntelliJ IDEA and how to install the J Java, JDK and how to install, how to create the project. If you are not aware of this term, please watch my previous session. Now here, I wanted to import the dependencies. So for that, 
so so my my project will be enabled for the selenium web driver so for that i need to click on the file option and i need to click on the project structure once i click on the project structure you need to select these modules okay you need to select this module and here you can see dependencies option you can see you need to click on this dependency option and here and here you can see on your right hand side plus symbol you can see you need to click on this plus symbol and that uh, windows uh, windows pop up will be open the with the latest version of the intellij ida you can see this plus symbol over here below the module sdk but this is my older version so i need to click on this oh, click on this add button so my so my dependency will add once i click on add button you can see jar or directory library and module dependency so you you must need to select you must need to select guys jar or dependency these things you must need to select okay once you select these terms you need to you need to navigate to the download option now my downloads folder will be where it is yeah here you can see this is my download folder now inside this download folder where it is this is this are uh, these are my selenium just a minute I must need to selenium. Yep. I'm just searching over here selenium hyphen java hyphen four point three point one. Yeah. Mm, this is my extracted file, guys. And yeah, here you can see this is my extracted file, and I need to go inside of this file. Okay. So how? I just need to navigate this folder and you can see this leaf folder inside the leaf folder and outside of the leaf folder all file I need to import. So here I just need to navigate this term and I need to select this multiple files. How can how I can select guys on with the help of the keyboard button shift plus down arrow I can select and I can select the all files over here. So here you can see all files I can see uh, unless my select yeah, here. I am selecting the all files. Now I need to click on the OK button. Once I click on the OK button, you can see. Please make sure that 59 files are automatically imported over here. Once this is done, you need to select and you need to click on the Apply button. Once you click on the Apply button, you need to click on the OK button. Now your project will be indexing is happening here. You can see, and now your project will be automatically configured, or, or we can say. You can write down the selenium script in this project as well. Now, guys, what now? Now, once this this setup is done, another thing you need to do. What another thing you need to do? Now, we completed this part only. Selenium language binding we installed. We have to download this file as well. Okay, so you can see if we can run our we can run our uh, selenium test cases on the different different browser like Firefox, uh, Chrome browser. Uh, like Safari, Edge, Internet Explorer, uh, Opera, multiple browser you can you can see and you can run your test cases on the multiple browsers. So each browser exposes their driver. If if you wanted to use, uh, if you wanted to run your test cases on the real browser, you have to download. You have to download those. Uh, you have to download those browsers, guys. I mean to say driver, you have to download. Okay, browser as well as driver you you need to download. Okay, now I'm using the Chrome uh, browser, so I'm just showing you the example of the Chrome browser. So for that, what exactly you need to do? Again, you need to navigate to the where guys on your Selenium dot website. So once you install this, once you download this file, you need to scroll down and probably here you can see the browsers. How many browser your Selenium is supported? All information given by the given on the Selenium dot dev website okay now firefox internet explorer safari opera chrome edge these many softwares these many browsers not software these many browsers supported by the supported for the selenium you can run your test scripts uh selenium test scripts on this browser so here you can see i wanted to download the version so i what exactly we need to do i need to click on the this documentation once i click on this documentation Chrome driver dot chromium dot org uh, website is open. So this is the uh, this is this website maintained by the Google. Okay, and here you can you can download the here you can download the versions Chrome driver version you can download. But you might have questions. So uh, here you can see these many versions we have. You might have questions, sir. Uh, we we can see 
a lot of version we can see over here but which version exactly i need to install so for that guys what exactly you need to do you must need to click on this three dot of the google chrome browser and you must need to check what is your what you what is your google chrome browser version this thing you must need to check now here you can see 102 version we have so my google chrome version is a 102 so i must need to download the google driver chrome driver version 102 102 version i need to download okay so here you can see 102 version i have okay if this is 102 version i have i just need to click on um, and always remember guys you have to you have to download this stable versions only so all are the here stable versions okay no now you you just need to click on this uh 102.0 version and once you click on this file you can see this pop-up will open okay this pop-up will open and you need to click on if you are having the windows machine then you must need to install you must need to click on this chrome driver underscore win 32.zip file okay so your download is automatically happening and once uh, and if you if you have mac machine then you can simply download this file okay once i already downloaded this file so once you download this file you need to open that download options and you can see uh, that uh, chrome driver versions you can see here you can see yeah this is this is this is how exactly your file is look like and again you need to again you need to open again you need to extract this 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 jar file guys okay once you extract this file your file is look like this okay once you open this your file is look like this you just need to enter this extracted file and you can double click over this like on this chrome driver version and once you open you can see the version is automatically showing it means you download the correct version here you can see this is how we can download and now once this is done once this is done what exactly we need to do now we can able to write down our test cases so here i'm just creating the uh, here i'm just creating the one of the class selenium class selenium uh, example so this class i'm going to create over here and now inside this i am just writing the uh, i'm just writing down the main method over here guys okay once i write down the main method you need to uh, set the path of the driver first okay these are the fixed term if you wanted to run uh, your selenium test case so this is the fixed term we must have to execute so system dot set property option we have and inside this you can write down web driver dot pro dot driver semicolon and here you can mention the this this google driver path so your browser will so so your test script will uh, send the request to this google driver with the help of the json wired protocol and this google driver send the request to the real browser so you just need to yeah, uh, yeah. you just need to copy this path and you need to paste it over here okay <clears throat> you can define your path like this as well or you can define your path like this as well okay it's completely depend on you what exactly preference what exactly prefer you are, you are preferring over here here i'm just erasing the double slash and here i'm just inserting the single slash now once this is done what exactly you need to do you must need to create an instance variable of the chrome driver so wave driver <coughs> wave driver wave driver driver is equal to new chrome driver chrome driver this thing uh, you need to you need to write down now once you write down over here here you can see some comp compilation error you can see over here so you must need to import the dependencies import the packages of this web driver now here you can see once you mouse over over here you can see cannot resolve this symbol now what exactly we need to do from your keyboard you just need to press the alter plus enter button once you click on this alter plus enter button you can see import classes you can see when now you need to click on this import classes you can see your uh, your selenium web driver file is automatically imported and here compilation error also gone now chrome driver, chrome driver this is another class we have okay so for that also you need to press the keyboard button plus uh, and enter button you need to click on and click on this import class 
now here you can see chrome driver is also open i mean to say imported over here okay now once this is done you need to what exactly you need to do guys you need to open the particular url driver dot get these are the these these are the selenium uh, selenium method we have driver dot get so if you wanted to open the particular url particular website we must need to use this selenium dot get method and here you can provide the edge double tp colon double slash www dot uh, dot facebook dot com okay once this is done you can close this driver as well like uh, driver dot close okay so this is so you, you mean to say i mean to say guys we are just opening our browser and we are closing our browser these are the by default method by the selenium web driver okay so for for your understanding i am just using some uh, some uh, wait as well so uh, you you can see what exactly going on and i must need to add the exceptions as well okay now i am running my script here you can see our uh, our our code will be successfully run or not that we are checking just wait it running compilation happening guys it is still compiling because of first because of new dependencies we imported over here and uh, one more thing i would like to tell you like once you import the files like selenium file you can see all selenium files in this external libraries as well now here you can see my probably my chrome is opening over here here you can see chrome driver was started successfully and here you can see my chrome browser is started successfully and the facebook.com website is also opening successfully and now this this browser will automatically close because we use the close this method so this is how basically we can set we can set up uh, we can do the setup of this selenium in in the intellij idea tool okay uh, that's that's what exactly i wanted to tell you guys that's it for today uh, thanks for watching this video if if you if you really like this video uh, do subscribe my channel and do like this video guys thanks thanks for watching thank you